Hello, and welcome back again. I'm Garrett of the Golden Tour, whatever you want to call me, and I'm fresh off killing my own mother for fun. That's the joke that's been made a thousand times in the Isaac community, and we have over 40 mods uh, locked and loaded in this gosh dang game now. Uh, I forgot to enable um, the debug console, and my head feels like a prickly pear. But we're going to play one more episode before I go to bed tonight. Um, I have school tomorrow, and I'm being a bit of a bad boy, but here's what we're going to do. We're going to try to unlock Bethany by playing as Lazarus on hard mode. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. You heard me. Hard mode. And it doesn't get much harder than Amnesia on the very first pill of the very first floor. And by that, I mean I hope that I can memorize like a six-room layout. Spoonbender is Poggy Woggy. Uh, we have to just go this whole run without losing our first life. And with Lazarus, that is actual hell. Um, I'll probably end up titling this run Purgatory, because that's what it's going to feel like pretty much the entire time. We're running off of stats that I know at any moment I could just improve if I really wanted to. Uh, but we won't. We'll, we'll be good little boys of the cross. Um, so, you're probably going to notice a ton of different things compared to maybe what you're used to seeing. Maybe you use um, mods yourself, maybe you don't. Either way, uh, I play with a fuck ton of mods, and almost all of them are visual, is a good example. I like the little um, custom keepers that they've added to the game. I think I've got like a hundred of them in my game, I don't know. Uh, a lot of items are going to have uh, little animations. Kind of like what you saw with uh, Spoonbender. That one makes me particularly uncomfortable. And was the first one I saw, which made me think this mod sucks. But all of the little custom sprite work and animations are super fun. Uh, later on down the road, I might do, uh, like, playing around with some fucking modded characters. But I find that more likely to happen on stream <clears throat> than it will here. Because it would be fun to, like, kind of play around with that stuff with you guys. Um, yeah, that's good. Pretty much as good as it's going to get on this floor. I didn't see a spirit heart anywhere, and I don't feel like checking the rest of it. So, Also, we have, if sacrifice rooms don't count, a chance towards Basement Boy, which was my nickname in college that I didn't go to because I live in the basement with my mom in a van down by the river. Yes, her van had a basement. Yes, it was a two-story uh, cargo van. And yes, it wasn't really my mom. It was a homeless guy named Greg who lured me in with the promise of drugs. But those were my college days. Um, and I don't talk about them very much more. Mostly because I don't remember them. Um, but also they did happen. Um, I did go to college and I dropped out three times. I am now in college again. Uh, and trying not to get the four-peat as I believe it's called in, um, oh my god, having item description mods is so poggy. Let's pop this down here, use it once. Maybe there's some kind of crazy chance that we can get a spirit heart out of the temperance machine? I don't think that's even a thing that's possible. And I will do a few extra rooms to try to figure something out. This is, if anything, the room that would take Basement Boy from me, because they are just plopping off. We got the final fucking boss here. Give me a bomb. You won't. You won't. I didn't think so. Okay. All right. All we got to get is a bomb, and we almost definitely have a guaranteed um, spirit heart. A lot of money, so we have shop opportunities. Yes, I did say shop opportunities. Did you say self shredded? Yeah. Like, evident in shred put together? Yeah. Well, where'd you get the V? From the <laughs> from the Get Wet shop. Oh, nice. My wife shops there. Classic video. If uh, if you know, you know. If you don't, then uh, go watch Sick Animation's entire catalog. Plus, I'm hungry for for shit. <laughs> I didn't want to say it, but it kind of came out. Bomb. There's not a bomb in here. Uh, here's what we'll do. We'll upgrade the shop. I believe this gives us a level two shop. No, it just unlocks blue map. Well, that sucks. Uh, no tinted rock, so we're just gonna have to play 
pretty perfectly. I don't think I left a bomb behind anywhere, and I'll shoot this poop just to be super safe, because we could get, like, insanely lucky. Yeah. We'll go ahead and head to the bottom. I will use the donation machine one more time to potentially get a spirit heart. And by spirit heart, I mean arcade. Well, like spirit fart, am I right? Let's see if I can make that joke once in every single video. And an arcade we did get. Um... Okay, so this is one of my favorite mods, like the custom uh, beggar animations. I will feed you. Please, dude. I'll go down one more. Okay. Perhaps one more. I don't know what I'm really hoping for from him, but I didn't get it, so... I'm not too worried about it. I don't think there's many rooms that if I'm like on maximum focus mode, I couldn't handle on um, basement one. But you never know. There's occasionally rooms where either A, you lose focus, or B, you're just uh, a cow on a trash farm. And uh, you wind up getting hit on for silly things. We are in a unique position to do that. Instead of taking damage, we can uh, pop the donation thing and take that damage instead. It's not what you want to see. What I would really like to see is more HP. But instead, we got a speed upgrade. And that's fine, actually, because I think I can play this dude and he's going to pay out right now. That's a bomb. Alright, what if I do this to your little friend over here, huh? What do you think of that? You know, we just couldn't come to an agreement, he and I. Secret? Nope, and there's going to be a tinted rock in this next room, and I have wasted my opportunity. But that's okay. As long as the other best mod in the game, the uh, Vine Fart Boom sound effect. Uh, as long as I don't get hit and I get to keep my devil deal, everything should be fine. As well as completing our two goals of A, keeping the streak going, uh, and B, unlocking Bethany with this run. And of course, there is our sub goal of making the um, soul farts joke in every episode if we can keep it up. But most likely, the next time I record, four years from now, I will not remember that I made that joke. But hey, uh, it was fun to make a couple of videos tonight regardless. And that's kind of how I'm trying to look at this. Hey. Remember when I said it was fun to make a video? You remember that? When we were all having a good time and it was just a couple of laughs, a couple of goofs, a couple of gaffs here and there? I miss those days. It's fine. Remember that we are just trying to complete the goals as long as whatever has to happen between there and now is whatever has to happen between <laughs> there and now. And this is the secret room, by the way. Don't tell my mom I said fuck. And you know what? We're actually going to try to get... Ugh, plum flute. Ugh. Homing shots are making it. Complete and utter focus mode. Get out of here, you big booty bitch. Let's fuck. Plum flute unlocked, no devil deal, and we wasted our spirit heart. Whatever, dude. Um, it's fine, I'm fine. I'm gonna go down here, into the curse room, and hope for the best. There is a good chance that we die on this run. I don't even know where the secret room could be. But we do have the plum flute to use on the next one. The next boss, at the very least, we'll shoot these. Kind of wish I had played the beggar more instead of sh blowing him up for the joke. Let's go, man. You just gotta believe. You know, they don't teach you that in uh, Isaac school. But that. There is a believe radar that can tell how much you believe in yourself. Uh, much like there is a desire radar in Monster Hunter that tells how bad 
you want um, a drop and it calculates it so that you don't get it. It works inversely here. If you ever die in Isaac, it's because you didn't want it enough. And uh, you can you can you can you can quote me on that. Anybody who doesn't want it enough will die. <laughs> and um, you know, I think that's an indis indisputable fact. And uh, facts don't care about your feelings. Uh, Burn Shapipo said that, I believe. Or maybe it was Ben Stiller. <laughs> it's been still my beating heart. Okay, everything's fine. I would like to go to the curse room. I also have not taken this pill. Balls of steel? Balls of steel? Tears down. x lax okay. Well, it's just one of the 14 useless pills in the game. Don't worry. This room is annoying. A vest. Yee. Toss a coin to your bitcher, dude. Anybody else seen The Witcher, the TV series? I um, have been watching it for uh, my roommate, Nicholas. See, I told you you'd get a little bit more information about me every single time. Eventually, you'll be able to uh, find me. Um, he's basically my girlfriend, and uh, I'm watching it so that complete concentration mode has been activated. I watch it so that he will, um, you know, continue to uh, love me. And watch my shows. Uh, he actually watched all five seasons of BoJack Horseman with me, back to back to back to back. And I figured if he could make it through, the, through that depressing rut, I could make it through a few se seasons of The Witcher. That being said, I was completely wrong. The Witcher is probably one of the most boring shows that I've ever seen. I've never been into fantasy. I've never been into um, weirdly stupid, complicated names like Yennefer. Uh, I get that all the names have to be crazy and, and sound like they're from a mysterious, mystical land, but you really couldn't do better than switching one letter in the word Jennifer. You know, just one man's opinion, but uh, I feel like we could have done a little bit better. Also, are there just no soul hearts in the game? Additionally, I don't care about learning about like 16 different factions all within one made-up country. Um, that are at war with each other for one reason or another. Skellige, more like skin me alive. Um, Alright, complete concentration mode. Activate. Fuck you, dude! Urgh! Dude. Oh, there's a fucking tinted rock up there! Alright, it's fine. He's He's got it blocked off. The dude is fucking goaded. Thank you, mommy. All right. And we will take a devil deal, actually. It's so good. It's actually just pretty okay, but it's... Plum Flute, you served us well, okay? Um, he's goaded with the sauce. He's, he's busting it down sexual style. But with uh, Spoonbender, I just didn't think I could turn down that um, that was fantastic it's unfortunately only going to happen once every three rooms unless I can get really lucky with um... Fuck. well there goes Cave's boy unless I can get really lucky with um, shop deals but hey man even once every three rooms especially for a boss room this is an amazing combination to have we're going to get magic mush okay. shot speed up is also a pill, technically speaking. It does belong to that category of um, pixels and effects that are coded into the data of the screen. I was actually just about to brag about how good I played on the last floor. And then this floor has been a little uh, a little icky ooey, a little gross. Okay, we're gonna bust it down sexual style here. Goated with the sauce. That is amazing. Okay, I think that this uh, is pretty much all we need to really win. Damage and tears up would of course be nice, but we have some amazing power. And you can see me actually relaxing in my gamer chair, taking horrible posture. 
because now I feel like we actually have a chance to succeed. Let's see if we can get some spirit hearts or uh, HP. No HP. Luckily, he's uh, goaded with the sauce. I cannot stop. That's really good. All right, now we can probably play this dude until he gives us something good. Give us actual brimstone. I don't think that's in your pool, but hey. I will indeed use the sun here. Oh! We're doing it! It's the dream! Okay. You've already given me such an incredible payout, but I feel like I deserve more from you. That's not it. You fucking bitch. Okay, it's fine. Oh, there's HP up here. Yo, this is actually pogged. All right, now it's once every other room, and all we need is one more item to have literally permanent brimstone. Now, if we get that item is another question entirely. And yes, that was a waste, but it's fine. Ah, uh, we need to go to the shop anyways. Who are you? Jesus. This is quite the fight to give me, Mr. Ed. Breadman, more like it. We're like, Deadmond. Because he might die. He'll probably die someday. Most of us usually do if you're not goaded with the sauce and busting it down sexual style. I'm so bad at video games, by the way. I don't know why I play them. Please stop your onslaught of my people. We deserve better. We are goaded with the sauce. Um, oh my god, I thought that room would never fucking end. This one, we have to be responsible and handle it like an adult, even though we're playing as a little baby boy, not wearing any pants. Lady Goo Goo, more like Lady Goo Goo Gaga. You know what I'm saying, fellas? I have a distressed look on my face because I know that there's something potentially amazing about this run. And at the same time, I know that I could really blow this. And that was just a good demonstration of my power. You know that song, I live for the applause, applause, applause. I live for the applause, applause. That song, I did not know that was Lady Gaga until today when I was watching my friend play Grand Theft Auto V. Did you know that the song Paparazzi, there's a pun there. She says, I'll follow you anywhere, Papa, in playing her father. She's actually talking about he is adorable. She's actually not talking about her father. She is talking about uh, people who hold cameras and take pictures of you showering when you don't know about it. We got the store upgrade. And I don't mind donating all of that and getting the luck up. This is the secret room. Okay. I am uh, zero for zero. We do have some opportunities to really take advantage of. And we might even actually be able to use the challenge room. I don't mind that I lost my deal with the devil. It does suck, but I don't mind it. Hey, buddy. Please. I mean, you know, that is definitely one way to do it. And then we get that, which is really bad because now I can't fucking get into the curse room. Also, we had already found the secret room. And by curse room, I meant challenge room. Can you tell that I'm being a bad boy and staying up too late? Well, you know that I live for the applause. That's a joke about me liking cats, but not like that. Shane Dawson, more like... Shane... Applause, 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 son. That's okay. That's really good. That's amazing. And that's okay. Yeah, we'll just give up on the uh, challenge room on this floor. I could have gotten it and used the sun card on it as well. But I think it's probably a better idea to just go ahead and save the sun for when I need it in general. Um, go to the general and save some time for a great car insurance rate online. That's right, we've got our first fucking 
uh, sponsor, ladies and gentlemen. Um, and that is, of course, uh, Flossy Tube. That's right. The only floss brand that uh, you can upload YouTube videos to directly. What's that? You thought it would be the general car insurance? How is that at all related to what we do here? Think for once in your mediocre life. I almost cussed. So you better, you better watch out, bub. I've been told I'm goaded with the sauce. I would really not. So I would really like to not lose my double deal. By the way. But I'm going to not. Damn, that was a lot of spittle. Did you see that, homie? Jesus. This is good. I mean, in a way, it's a devil deal either way. I just need to stay far away from you. Now, how cool would it be? Um, dude, imagine getting a fucking... Well, imagine getting a damage item here. You know, that is also an item. Speed up's definitely good. And you know what? I actually don't mind flying either. I'm still worried about this run because we have to make it all the way to the womb and beyond. AKA infinity and beyond. Also, if you're wondering what that little uh, thing is at the start of every floor, I will show you momentarily. It's pretty much what you've got here is the typical la uh, Lazarus experience. If you're not, if you don't do the thing, it's a, it's a, it's a mod where you can change your appearance. I actually like that better. Like that better. What does this do? Oh yeah. Gives you like a dark aura. That doesn't change anything. I don't like that. Yeah, we'll go with, we'll go with that. So it's it's just a custom uh, wardrobe. You can save favorites, add them to there, and um, yeah, it's just like a little cool mod. A lot of my mods that I have are visual or. How come I? have a 0% chance for a devil deal. Oh, I already fucking finished the fucking boss fight. A lot of my um, mods are mostly visual. I don't think I have any that actually change gameplay unless you count like um, I have a mod that tells me when there is a lucky penny because they're stupid hard to see. And if you think that's bad, then um, go frick yourself, dude. I don't care, I'm goaded with the sauce. Our range is trash. Um, but maybe we can get a shop with a spirit heart before we leave this floor and that'll make everything okay. Or uh, the whatever vault, I can't remember what it's called. Our brimstone form, or what we're gonna call um, our true Lazarus form. Um, every man has two Lazaruses living within him. Uh, is really good and honestly this one's improving getting toxic aura was or whatever the hell it's called is quite an improvement that being said there's still a lot of work to do this is the perfect room for this like look at look at how little damage we do i don't think i have champion's belt unlocked yet but champion's belt would also be pretty freaking good be a little g-o-a-t-e-d with the souse What if I got a black heart? Dude, what if we kissed in uh, the back of mom's room? No, just give me a spirit heart. All right, last shot. Well, we going in dry, fellas. I ain't even got a bomb to get us going. You can't say I didn't try. If we get a bomb, there's not a terrible chance that I'll get a black heart here. Do I have spectral tears? I do. Get absolutely fucked on. I'll take that damage just to get him off of the screen, honestly. Fun fact that I didn't know until pretty recently. Did you know that the red fires will only shoot one tear at you um, per room? Each? Because I had no idea. Also, this is so great. Not the I'm excited build. That sucks. Also, did you know that I'm excited runs on a timer? It'll activate again in 
I believe, 90 seconds. And then after that, it'll activate again in 30 seconds. And after that, we don't have to worry about it. So if we really thought about it and, like, had a timer going, we could, um, you know, plan it accordingly. But I'm not too worried about it. Yeah, this run is probably going to be okay. Also, if you were wondering what that little um, rag icon, you probably figured it out. What the little rag icon is in the top left next to my health and everything. That is a indicator of which life is next in the pool if you have multiple lives. Also, that sucked so fucking hard. Hey, little guy. It's looking... Like, we're not going to get our devil deal. And, uh, you know, 36% chance we could probably bump that up to like a 70 if we found a beggar. Which is not unlikely now that we've got this room. Um, and a shopkeeper. We would also need two bombs for that. Or one really lucky beggar keeper placement. Um, either way, I'm not too worried about it. Because that's the last I'm excited. Although, I will say that's not the reason I took damage on the last one. I'll, uh... I'll take responsibility and ownership for that <clears throat> all day. Regardless, I still think this run can do it. Um, maybe not, though. We do have pretty low health, but rooms like this are... Like, give me unlimited of these. My vocal chops are deteriorating as we speak. It's been so long since I've talked for this amount of time by myself. Believe it or not, I don't talk to myself a whole lot. That was actually the way smarter way of doing that. I feel like an idiot now. What? You tricked me, you little prankster! Range would be cool. Oh, that's such a good fucking trinket. If we had Mom's Purse, that would be fucking amazing. Is it called Mom's Purse? Mom's Little Sack? Okay. Alright, fellas. Everybody chill out. Do I have any HP on the floor? I don't. That's pretty scary, actually. Okay, let's, let's get serious here. Alright, this runs in a little bit of peril. Remember what I said? All you got to do is want it badly enough. And you'll get it. Okay, this room makes me think we're going to be fine. Please. The two HP payouts every time have been incredibly generous. That'll get our Devil Deal chance up a little bit more. That's a lot of money that we can give to this. Which I'm super happy to do. It's so easy to get your donation machine up at the beginning. Also, there is a slight chance that we'll find a planetarium on this floor. Not high at all, but slight. You can see that I've completely switched over to just like Isaac uh, <laughs> focusing completely on gameplay and like Isaac theory crafting a little bit here. Not that I'm like a good banter engine or anything like that. I'm just um, a little bit more worried about this run than I was previously. Looking like there's not going to be a planetarium. We'll check that last one just in case it... I don't think there's any way that it could possibly give you one. But you never know. Also, is there a beggar in that room? Or is that supposed to be representative of a little shop dude? A little uh, s skull game? Five, three card Monty? Three skull Monty? That's three skull Monty Python in the Holy Grail's Black Flight? What a good joke. Um... I'm going to unfurl my brow a little bit before it gets stuck like that. Did anybody else believe when you were younger? When your parents told you... That's so good. I'm glad I came back. When your parents told you that if you made a face for too long, your face would get stuck like that. And did anybody else just get fucking horrified at that? I would think so often I wonder if I'm making a face too much and if it would get stuck like that. I remember watching Dragon Ball Z... And seeing Vegeta's like big throbbing fucking middle eyebrow piece. I don't even know what to call that. I was like, oh, I guess he must have made that face too much. Then again, your parents also tell you that Santa Claus is real. Um, or if you're like me, your mom, who uh, was raised indeed on a pig farm. Um, stay tuned to find out her maiden name. Uh, 
told you often that her younger brother was eaten by a pig. Um, weird, weird joke to tell a seven-year-old because, you know, at that point, um, you kind of just trust everything your parents tell you because they're the source of all information and pretty much everything entirely on um, the world. It was so weird not seeing the Polaroid there just now. All right, this is the floor where we get the double deal. Uh, but yeah, you just kind of accept all information they give you because that's what it is to be a parent and have a child. Um, and I remember every time she would tell me, you know, I would react in a way that could be called potentially maybe uh, breaking down into tears in a flop sweat. You know, if you were so inclined to use that kind of terminology, I prefer uh, leaking from the windows of my soul. Um, AKA my back pores. You know, they say the key to a, a man is through his stomach. Well, uh, does that mean the soul be coming out the back? You know what I'm saying, ladies and gentlemen? More like soul farts, am I right? Really wish that I had saved that charge for the big rooms. Uh, cool. Let's go ahead and do it. Oh my god, this is gonna suck. Walking into this room physically hurt me. You can see it in my eyes. Go back and do an instant replay. Um, I don't have an editor and I'm not going to be editing this video, so uh, don't expect me to go back and um, do it myself. Just go ahead and rewind the video. Enhance. Um, feel free to play this audio in the background. It'll motivate you a little bit more, but I uh, got furrowed again and I'm having to undo it. You ever think about how pissed you are that the local uh, CC's pizza chain is closing? and or has closed already without any kind of prior warning whatsoever. Again, these are just more clues that you can use to figure out where I live, but I should really stop encouraging that. <coughs> but, uh, yeah, so the CC's Pizza, a favorite of mine since I was a child, as my school would have frequent school trips. I don't know what is academic about CC's Pizza, but I wasn't complaining. Um... The listing for the, the, the establishment, the restaurant, as, as I'll call it, the fine dining uh, place, is still on Google as being open and available for your consumption. The store is there, shining brightly as a beacon of hope for all of humanity who uh, dare wake up every morning and get out of bed. <gasps> uh, however, my bio, my body is violently reacting to the lack of buffet style pizza however apparently cc's has declared bankruptcy thank you for the soul hearts and uh is closing its doors i hate to be the one who's who, who bared bore that bad news for you if i was i apologize somebody had to but uh if not it's true cc's is uh closing a fuck ton of its chains Apparently it had in the tens of thousands. I, I, I think that's accurate information from the uh, headline that I read a week ago when trying to research this. Either way, man, I just want some goddamn pizza. And all I wanted was a Pepsi. She wouldn't give it to me. Holy fuck a devil deal. Holy fuck a damage up. Holy fuck Leviathan. Holy fuck actual brimstone. It really did just all come together, didn't it? And uh, I don't believe I could claim that I'm goaded with the sauce without getting uh, some goat head, ladies. Okay, this last floor is about to be <coughs> floor is about to be very fun. Curse of the blind. Um, taking goat head was literally just for tellols, I believe it's called. Oh my god! Every other room we can have mega brimstone. What the fuck is going on? Um, let's go down here and do it. Give me that big brimstone soundbite. Yes. Oh my god, giant homing brimstone is everything I've ever wanted. Fuck off, I don't need you anymore. Cause I don't love you like I used to. And you don't want to talk about it. But I don't love you anymore. Okay. Okay. 
We're doing well. We're doing well. A lot of bomb beggars on this floor. Not a lot of bombs in me. Where does Isaac keep all those bombs, ladies and gentlemen? I think I'm asking the important questions that we've all just thought about over the years. But you've been too scared to say it. Well, not me. I won't let the damn liberals keep me quiet. I believe that's the first time I've cussed on, um, on this particular recent batch of uh, uploads. Thank you for the soul heart. I think I've cussed in the unlisted Isaac videos that I have. I'm not scared of cussing, but hey man, I mean, if I can avoid it. Uh, I'm not scared. I'll say a cuss word. When I was a little kid, I was uh, not allowed to say shut up, and I remember to me that was the ultimate insult when I was truly mad at someone. I would say, hey man, why don't you shut up? And, uh, you know, sometimes you say things you regret to the people that you care about most. Although I didn't care that much about Taylor. He was a uh, kind of a weird guy. Taylor, if you're out there, uh, you were a weird guy. And I play uh, a naked baby game on the internet for fun. I remember one time I was sitting in my bunk bed. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, and Taylor said to me, Hey, man. Uh, Dan is actually my best friend now. And I said, Oh. What an interesting development. And he said, Yes. Do you wish to be uh, my best friend instead of Dan? To which I, of course, said yes, because I was four. To make sure that you know that this wasn't weird. Um... Or as weird as it could have been, uh, Taylor was also about this age. And he said, okay, well, if you want to be my best friend, uh, you will have to do a task. And I said, of course. Um, I believe we were both playing with uh, Max Steel figures at the time. Max, if you're listening, sh shout out to the OG Goat. Fuck. He said to me, if you want to be my best friend, such as Dan... You need to touch your tongue to mine. To which I said, I would like for you to leave my house. I did not see Taylor much after that day, and I believe I told him to shut up one time. So, you can tell how I uh, felt about Taylor ever since that occasion. This is a large floor. This is a bad, bad room. I'm so glad that I have all the damage ups that I received on the last floor, because that would have sucked major uh, um, booty. See, I almost cussed, but uh, this one's for the kids. Just kidding. If you're a child, don't watch my content. Anyways, it's looking like we're about to uh, round the bases on here. This is the first Satan fight on the diagonal directional to, to Dead God, or whatever we want to call this series. And uh, this was an exceptionally fun run. We unlocked three characters, Eden, Azazel, and Bethany. So the next run will likely be a Bethany run, um, but that won't be for probably another few days before I record again. If I ever record again, who knows, you know? Uh, it do be like that, and this is just for fun. So we'll see how it goes. Either way, we'll give them one. We'll give them two, and we'll give them three. Uh, the, t the second one was a silent one, and uh, if you know me, you know that real G's move in silence, like lasagna. Excellent. Um, thank you, Matthias, for that awesome... Oh, four characters in one run. All right. We have a win streak of two. Next run we'll play will be a... Um, a Bethany run, because she is super fun. Uh, for now... I've been Goated with the Sauce, or Garrett, or whatever you want to call me, and thanks for hanging out. I'll catch you guys on the next one. See ya.